Hi, welcome to the MyCase QuickBooks Integration Getting Started Guide. The QuickBooks Integration is a one-way sync from MyCase into QuickBooks. It's going to sync up invoices, payments on those invoices, and trust transactions if you have trust accounting enabled. We support integrations with US versions of QuickBooks Online. The biggest part of the QuickBooks implementation process is if the account mapping process. The first question we're going to have for you is do you take trust retainers from your clients? If you do, you're going to need a trust liability account as well as a trust bank account set up in your general ledger in QuickBooks. If you don't have those set up yet, we recommend reaching out to an accountant or a bookkeeper regarding setting up those accounts in your general ledger in QuickBooks. The next question is going to be regarding income recognition. Now in my case, you can charge for things like flat fees, time entries, expense entries, and so forth. Each one of those items can be linked up to a specific QuickBooks item as well. This is an example of a common practice that we see, where all items are linked up to legal fees and legal fee income. Expense entries are typically linked up to client expense account or reimbursable expense account in which case you can record the expenses that you've pushed on to your clients. Once the QuickBooks implementation process is complete, syncing items to QuickBooks is easy. All you do is click on that QuickBooks link in your My Case stock at the bottom of your screen. When you do so, a new window is going to pop up that shows all eligible transactions within the past month. You can change that date range if you want to, Otherwise, select the transactions you want to sync up to QuickBooks and select Sync with QuickBooks. Once this is completed, we can go ahead and take a look at all these invoices and the payments and how they've pushed over to QuickBooks. Once in QuickBooks, we can access our QuickBooks Customer Center by selecting Customers and finding our customer that's associated with that invoice. My case is going to cross-reference all of your contacts in QuickBooks. If one matches up, it will associate that invoice and payments associated with that contact. If it doesn't, my case will create the contact in QuickBooks for you. In this case, all of our transactions are linked up to Jamie Hinkson. Here's an example of that invoice that we brought over. Here you have all the details, the contact's name, the invoice date, the due date, and our account mapping that we designated. Payments are also going to come across. By selecting the payment option, you can see the date and the bank account that we've designated the payments to go into. Okay, so that does it for our QuickBooks integration overview. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team at 800-571-8062, extension 1. You can also send us an email to support at mycase.com. We're always happy to help. Thanks so much and have a great day.